Martin, um, right here in Bakersfield, California, Southeast Bakersfield near the uh, Bakersfield Air Park. Um, most people know it as the Cottonwood and, and uh, Watch Drive area. Bakersfield has always been home to Lyle Martin, a community that helped shape the man he is today, a community he made a mission to give back to. Before moving up in the ranks of the Bakersfield Police Department to becoming the chief of police, Martin came from humble beginnings. I'm the youngest of three. I have two older siblings, one sister and one brother, and they both assisted in raising me while my parents worked back then. My father's from Texas and he was a Korean War veteran. Um, he went on to become a self-employed barber. Uh, my mom's from Oklahoma, and she was part of the Okies when they uh, came out here in the 30s, and she was an instructional assistant for the Bakersfield City School District. Martin describes growing up in Bakersfield interesting due to the fact it was sectioned off. Kind of um, isolated to everybody, you know, like a little 10 block area of your neighborhood. When we talk about race and race relations, it's come to the forefront in the last decade. But these issues were at the forefront when I was an adolescent as well. It seems like it's very cyclical. Um, being bused in elementary and junior high school exposed me to different people and different cultures that I would not have been exposed to had I attended my neighborhood. So this gave me a perspective that many of my friends and family did not have in regards to my attitude towards people who look differently. Um, education and professional development. Martin says he faced his fair share of obstacles, but nothing like the one he was about to take on while attending South High School. I think one of the bigger obstacles for me growing up was being a teen parent. I mean, I was told by so many people that I had ruined my life and I would not be able to accomplish much. And although it was stressful and at times a bit overwhelming, I believe it made me even more determined to succeed and provide motivation that I was may have been lacking at the time. Because being a good father and community contributor were important and proving people who doubted me wrong was just a bonus. Martin says he was fortunate to have a supportive family, teachers and coaches in his life to help keep him on the right path. Coach Hank Washington over at South High and Principal Janine Thompson, um, what a great inspiration those two were. Um, they believed in me. They backed me. I mean, even Hank Washington was a basketball uh, coach, but he was also an art teacher. And that side of my brain doesn't always connect, but I mean, he was patient and taught me how to express myself in different ways. With a community of support behind him and the drive to succeed, Martin went on to attend college. Originally, I was going to be a registered nurse when I was started out at Cal State University, Bakersfield. But I quickly found out that I didn't have the, uh, I had the right attitude, but I didn't have the aptitude for, uh, for being in nursing and all of the uh, biology and anatomy and those types of things. I did just really didn't excite me. So I couldn't get behind that. Um, my uncle Billy was a Bakersfield police officer in the eighties. So I went and talked to him and talked about, you know, what drives me, what I believe in and those types of things. And, and he steered me towards the Bakersfield police department. And, you know, he was very uh, instrumental in telling me that I could have a very promising career there. And he followed his uncle's advice. You know, I always said that I wanted um, the city to be a place where people could um, follow and chase their dreams without fear of, of crime or retribution of, of others. So that's kind of the position that I took. So I had a lot of great people around me. Martin was with the department for over 30 years, serving eight years as the assistant chief and three as the police chief before retiring in 2019. I felt very fortunate to have been the chief here and in my hometown and the support that I get from the community, continued support even now, it's just all. Respect people, not positions. Regardless of where you are in life, you have to be honest. Today, what is important to Martin is to continue to serve as a mentor in our community. He teaches at the college level, continues to be involved in the Police Activities League and school events. And for our future leaders, he has this advice to share. 
Be humble and admit you are or you were wrong. You know, in my opinion, one of the critical keys to great leadership is the courage to admit and learn from a mistake. And I've seen so many young people who for some reason are just afraid to say I was wrong or I'm sorry. And I don't know where, how we got there, but we need to get back there because nothing strengthens a relationship more with other people, with organizations and with your community than just humble honesty.